friends, today is going to be my TBR for the Summer Scare Readathon. Can you tell I'm bulk filming? Yes, you can because you've seen the same shirt in the last three videos. It's fine. Also, if you are unaware, the Summer Scare Readathon is a readathon that I'm hosting August 8th through the 14th. All of the information for that will be linked in the description box down below and the announcement video is down there as well. Basically for this readathon there are nine prompts that you can hit, to which I have basically said hit as many or few as you can with as many or as few books as you can. Do whatever you want, no rules, just follow the prompts. For me, I'm going to give you eight books that I'm going to try to fit in during that week. Some of them may get read, some of them may not. Also, they will work for different prompts and different things, so I'm not really going to line anything up. I'm just going to tell you the eight books that I have pulled off of my shelves that I'm going to try to read during that week. The other thing is, as I was pulling these off, I realized that I am at a very low capacity of spooky books. And in like three months, it's going to be October. And I'm going to be trying to read 31 books in October. And I typically try to read 31 spooky books in October. What the fuck am I going to read? I don't have any spooky books. Um, so if you have any good spooky book recommendations, hit me up down below. Also, if you need spooky book recommendations, um, I listed, I linked this in for the announcement video, but I'll also link it down below. I made a good read shelf of like my favorite spooky books if you need somewhere to start. So uh, first books we're going to talk about are the Sweep series by Kate Tiernan. I know I've been reading these forever. Um, I think I'm on book six now. But yeah, book six. They're very short. They're less than 200 pages. I always say I'm going to pick them up and I'll read like a chapter or two and then I put them down and then I forget they exist. I currently am on chapter four in this book that I started reading last year in October when I was on the writing retreat. So I'm definitely gonna have to reread those four chapters to remember where the fuck I'm at. Um, but I would like to read at least one story in this series. Maybe that's what I could do during October is just read the other three, six, nine. Look, I got nine right there. Nine. Th those are the only spooky, bo spooky books that I own. So I'm going to try to read at least one of these. Next is that I always try to get in a graphic novel or two or three during a readathon. And I have three books in the Witch series. Um, these are books 10, 11, and 12. They are uh, Trial of the Oracle, which is part four, I think. That makes sense because there's three parts in each one. Um, I bought these last year. They're not really spooky necessarily, but they are magic involved. And so they're also mid-grade. So that hits the mid-grade prompt. They're green. Like they've got a lot going on that really helped me out. And a Merlin. We then have The Secret Next Door by Rebecca Taylor. This is an adult mystery. I know it's like set in a like small town suburb and there's two women and their two children and there's some kind of like a mystery. One of the kids goes missing or is found murdered or something of that sort. I don't know. Next is A Lullaby for Witches by Hester Fox. I don't necessarily know that this is necessarily spooky either, but witches. And I know that this has like a dual timeline. Um, there's a younger, there's a witch in the 1850s, 1750s. What year are we in? Go back 50 years, 1950. Go back 100 years, 1850. Actually, if you go back 50 years, it's 1970, but we're not going to talk about that. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, this book deals with like a witch in the mid-ish 1800s and a witch in modern day and just like how their stories overlap. I then have Vampire Problems by India Watson. I was trying to read this in May, which did not happen, but here we are. It is very short. It's like 170 some pages, 171 pages. Um, it involves a witch, demons, vampires, werewolves, all of those things. Um, there's like an attempted murder, but the murder's on a demon and the demon can't die. That's a whole thing. So I'm very interested to see where this one takes me. And the final book on my shelves that I am going to try to read during this week that also don't really know that it's scary, but we're going with it. 
um, Because You Love to Hate Me, which is a tale, 13 tales of villainy that's like 13 authors and then 13 booktubers who are working together to create stories. I don't know. Uh, this has been on my shelves for a long time and I need to read it. So she here. And these are the books that I'm going to try to read during the readathon. Let me know in the comments below what you plan to read or if you're going to post a TBR or if you're posting to Instagram, whatever the things are, make sure you tag me. Again, there's a whole bunch more information in the previous video um, for templates for Instagram and all of that fun stuff. If you have any questions, make sure to hit me up in the comment section down below. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! My heart is so hard.